So this is Yusuf and this is my first video on YouTube guys. I'm trying to build a SAS boilerplate but this video will show you how I'm implementing OTP in my starter kit. For the OTP service we need two things, the OTP service itself and the dispatcher. The OTP service doesn't have to know anything about the dispatcher. The dis this dispatcher would be either email dispatcher or even SMS dispatcher but at this moment I only support email. We need something to generate the OTP. We need this OTP to be secure, so please, guys, don't use Mazda Trandum. I read an article, I don't remember when, but the Mazda Trandum is predictable and someone can predict it. If there is any cybersecurity guy, maybe you can comment and tell us a story about this. But anyway, um, I'm using a key to make the OTP. It's coming from the environment variables, doing some challenge here or salt, depends on how do you want to define it and, and generating a key at the end a key is a string so when requesting an OTP in any part of the application we have three things we need the contact that we want to contact or send the OTP to and the action they probably you don't need action but in my app I want to or in my SAS boilerplate I want to define actions so we have action for each OTP for example you can have OTP for login and OTP maybe for any other stuff uh, for example here for defining a 2FA to turn on or turn off the two-factor authentication with OTP and a message this is an extra tip in case you want to add an extra information to your users in the message or email uh, SMS or email sorry so sending the OTP here we have these three things validating the data is valid i'm only using email now because the only provider i have at email and later on if i needed to add an sms the only lines i will change probably this line and this line and then we dispatch the otp and this is it for the otp service ah yeah i forgot about the verify the verify also is really easy except it's the same parameters but with extra parameter which is the otp that you want to verify huh makes sense we are selecting the otp selecting couple of attributes that we need from the otp table limiting to one just guys please write a good sql queries i'm here i'm using drizzle but this is a good this will lead to a good sql query <laughs> anyway don't forget to add the order by guys okay um, then checking here for the invalid status, when will be the OTP is invalid. And the OTP, if it's not invalid, this means it's accurate. Let's add a comment here. If the OTP is valid, just just for the minister purposes. Demonstra demonstration purposes. Sorry guys, I'm not an English native speaker. And later on we delete it if it's valid and blah blah blah. Using singleton pattern here and here, um, voila. Uh, let's look at the dispatcher. Now the dispatcher only have an email. Okay, it's injected the email provider. Later on, if we need an SMS, we will probably do. We will probably do just this SMS provider. Any blah 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 blah. Of course, we will add the provider here and later on here. We have a switch statement over the type. We will add the case. SMS here and we will be good to go but don't let's not ruin our code <laughs> let's focus on the SMS for the email for now. now we are generating the email this is IE team just to send the translated messages to my users ah fancy experience guys yeah I think you can just comment or follow me to watch me building some stuff with this starter kit uh, we are sending an email here to the user using the email provider. So here we need to implement two-factor authentication and oh, This is a big big function. Maybe it needs to be refactored a little bit to abstract it and use it here But all this is just pouring stuff basic authentication So we will skip all this pouring stuff pouring 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 pouring. Yep. Here is a good part so we need to check if the user is have OTP enabled if the user have if doesn't if the user doesn't have an OTP enabled just return the user this mean in Next.js or next oath you are authentication and authenticated you and you are good to go. But in case that you have the OTP enabled, then we need the OTP. So in the first load or in the first request, we don't have an OTP. So we will send the message to the user asking him, yeah, is the OTP is required. Maybe I will show you actually now. Uh, let's use this email address 
abusefatapp.com and password. So, first OTP required. So let's get back. Why is there another error here? Okay. Anyway, we will get. I will get to this later. But anyway, so here on on first uh, on first request, we we don't have an OTP. So we first get a message error message, which is you, sh you saw it here. OTP required. We are sending the OTP over to the user. And let's look how the email look like. It's super cool, guys. Ah, it's a fake email. I will show you the email montage anyway. So, and then we show the error for OTP required and the code, blah, 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 blah. And based on this, we show here React state. So let's see the OTP here. Oh, super fancy security. Okay and we paste the OTP and first we check if the OTP match if the OTP doesn't match we throw another error OTP invalid and blah 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 if the OTP matches voila you are authenticated and this is how to implement OTP and two-factor authentication with next auth and this is it for this video guys thank you for watching me have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe and maybe visit my website and follow me for later